Bruce, congratulations. What do you think of 85? Uh, it's, it's, it's nice to be recognized by your peers. Uh, you know, you know I, I still feel like I can be much better, and it's, uh, you know, the, the, the best is yet to come. Where should you have been, Bruce? I don't know, man. I, it, it's been <laughs> six years. It's been six years, and I ain't been on it. So I'm just grateful to be wherever, wherever I was voted at. You know, I'm well, just listen, grateful to make the list. I, I appreciate you. You're, you're taking this in stride, as you said. It's great to be on the list. Some people would like mm -hmm. to be in a better position than 85. You had a classy tweet there. Landon Collins, one of my favorite guys, also classy. But can we put up Landon Collins? So he was 92. Glad I made it, but very disrespectful with the number. Hashtag Savage Season upon us. Landon's Twitter uh, uh, handle, by the way, the humble one. But he didn't like the 92. So you didn't get angry, mm -hmm. Bruce. Level head. No, nah, not at all. Not Level at all. Head. I'm good. We're good, and uh, 85 is a good spot. Let's get to the John Gruden thing. So you were back mm -hmm. with the new coach. Uh, he's been out of it now for nine years. What was that like? Uh, he, he's a very energetic guy. Uh, you know, he loves ball. You know, that's one thing about him. Um, all around the facility is, is football. You know, he eat, sleep, breathe football. You know, that's the great thing about him. He's very passionate. Uh, you know, and he's a player's coach, man. He let us, he let us, for the most part, he let the guys, the leaders, you know, run the team, um, run the building. So, uh, you know, that's always great to get a coach that, you know, let the players pretty much control, control the building and the setting. I, I know he's around every now and then. This is when he was doing TV, so I'm sure you had met him before. Was he the same mm -hmm. guy in front of the team as he was coming through your TV on Monday night? Same guy. Uh, no, uh, Blurts out whatever he wants, uh, <laughs> come in, crazy hairdo, uh, you know, but he's a very passionate guy, man. You know, that's what you want in your leader. Uh, you know, he, he, he's, 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 a great, he's a great dude. You know, he, he's rallying, rallying the guys up, and uh, I think guys around here are really starting to buy in and believe in, be, believe in the system and his schemes, and uh, I think guys are ready to go out there and leave it all out on the line for him. Bruce, what's the craziest thing he's said so far? Uh, I don't know it was the craziest, but he got this weird thing. Uh, you know, if you're having fun, knock on the knock on the wood. So uh, it was different. You know, <laughs> if you're happy to be if you're happy to be here, knock on the wood. If if you if you it's just it's just weird. Like who who wouldn't be happy to be here? So it's you know he he's a different guy, but he he's he's a, he's a great guy, man. He's different approach as uh, than Jack the Real, but he's also a great approach. So. Uh, I'm just looking forward to getting this thing started with him. So you were down in Dallas over the weekend. You announced yes, the, the Raiders pick of Brandon Parker at number 65 on your way there, and you were a first-round pick. You were 15th overall. Correct. You tweeted, Correct. I never got invited to the draft. I'm going to mm -hmm. go check this thing out. What would you think? A lot of lights, a lot of cameras, man. Uh, you know, when I got on stage, I, I damn near forgot what I was supposed to say. So, uh, <laughs> you know, it was it was a great experience. Uh, you know, uh, I'm glad I got to finally experience it. But uh, you know, I was honored that the Raiders selected me to go announce the third round pick. You know, I've never been honored to do a lot of stuff. So uh, it was a great experience, man. I'm just happy I finally got the experience, though. What does Arden Key bring to your pass rush? Arden Key. Um, he reminds me a lot of Alden Smith, um, big, long, big, long guy. Uh, you know, he's 6'6", what, 245, 250 now, you know, but he's still a kid. So, you know, he's e easily get 265, 270, good weight. So uh, I'm eager to uh, work with him and, 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 you know, make sure to keep his head on off the field and, uh, you know, let him know me and, me and K-Mac and those, the rest of those guys, we're depending on you, man. So, you know, what you do outside of this building reflects not only you but all, all of us. So. Uh, you know, I'm ready to get him in here, get my hands on him, and, uh, you know, uh, see what he can do. Yeah, that message hopefully does get through. Obviously, a lot of people thought Arden Key, if he came out last year, would have been a first-round pick. He fell to you guys. Mm -hmm. And now you put Arden Key with Bruce Irvin, with Khalil Mack. That's a pretty dangerous pass rush, chasing whomever in the AFC West <laughs> or whomever it is you play. I, I got to ask you, Bruce, before we let you go, about what's going on in Seattle. You have... Uh, you have uh, Sherman there across the bay with the 49ers mm -hmm. now, and now there's talk potentially of Earl Thomas getting traded. Now, Pete says it's not going to happen. The trade didn't happen during draft day. But what would you say if Earl Thomas did get dealt? Uh, 
I, I would say it's, it's a part of the game, man. Uh, you know, we had a great run in Seattle. You know, everybody who who's in this league know when you got something good going, you know, everybody's trying to see what you got going and, you know, pull your pieces away from you. So, you know, Seattle had a very good run, you know, uh, two, three, four years of being dominant. And uh, I would say uh, if, the, if Earl so happened to get away, it's part of the game. But he's a future Hall of Famer, and he had some of his best years uh, – in Seattle, uh, and, and I'm sure he got plenty more to come. And for now, as I said, Pete Carroll says he is going to stick around, but the word talks, Ian Rappaport says, to maybe get him dealt to Dallas during that draft. Bruce Irvin mm -hmm. of the Raiders, minicamp. How about that with John Gruden last week as he is back in the building and back coaching. Bruce, thanks for taking the time, man. Thank you for having me.